Hello my YouTube friends! Plugins are an awesome way to expand what you can do with OBS. And they're all totally free to use. So today I'm going to tell you about my five favorite live streaming plugins. So let's get to it! My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second and leave me a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. This goes a long way towards helping YouTube push this video to a wider audience. And my analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. And if you're one of those 80%, please consider subscribing. This really does help me to continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free, so thanks! There are links to each one of these plugins in the description down below if you want to check them out for yourself. This first plugin is one of my absolute favorites. It makes a huge difference in how professional your live streams can look. The Move Transition has been around for a long time and it is absolutely my favorite plugin ever. It allows you to change scenes where you move your assets around in a fluid fashion so it looks like they're just kind of reshuffling on your screen. It has a really simple menu system that allows you to select what you want to move, where you want it to come from, where you want it to go to. It's really, really easy to use once you get used to it. And you can add these transitions in between every scene or you can even customize them separately. It's really, really cool stuff. But that's not all you can do with the move transition. You can absolutely transition from scene to scene, moving your sources around and make them look really cool. But even more importantly, Importantly, you can move your sources directly in a single scene. You can move them around and zoom them in or out, and this can add dynamic zoom effects or allow you to use hotkeys just to move a single source around a scene that you have, just like this. It's really awesome stuff. The next plugin is a must have for organizing audio in your live streams. Wind Capture Audio is a revolutionary plugin for OBS. It's simple to install and when you put it in there, what it enables you to do is separate out your audio by window. So you see I'm adding Discord right here. We can add specifically game audio. We can then then add audio from Spotify or any of the other music services. We can add audio directly from a browser tab and any other windowed source that you have on your computer. You can capture that audio separately in OBS. Used to be you would just add desktop audio and you get what you get. Not anymore. With the Win Audio plugin, you can separate it out and choose what you want to hear and what you don't. You'll never have to listen to another Windows notification in your live stream again. It's just awesome. A video about live streaming tools wouldn't be complete without today's sponsor, Envato Placeit. I use Placeit in every live stream for my wait screen, my countdown timer, my branding bumper, as well as my logo and my channel banners, and even some of the overlay assets. They have everything a streamer could need all in one place. Now I created my logo in just a few minutes minutes by choosing from one of the designs and then completely customizing everything from the color graphics and placement to the text and the fonts. And that logo can easily be added to all the videos that you can build and use in all kinds of different content that you might create for YouTube, like live or recorded. I absolutely love Envato Placeit and you will too. Click the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. If you want to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or any other platform at the same time for free, this next plugin is the one for you. The full name of this plugin is Multiple RTMP Outputs, and basically what it does is it enables you to live stream to multiple platforms at the same time directly in OBS for free. And you can see here I'm configuring Twitch to work with this application. It can actually share the encoder so that you only need to really process the signal one time, and then it will send it out to multiple locations like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. It is a really awesome program. The one drawback to using this application is obviously that it takes up a lot of bandwidth outgoing to stream to three different locations. Whereas if you're using another paid service, you just stream one stream out and they split the stream into all the different locations. In this case, your machine is doing all of the processing
thing. And of course your internet connection has to be able to handle streaming at 6,000 bit rate or whatever you stream at to multiple locations. And here you can see I'm configuring up Facebook. But if your connection can handle that, this is absolutely the perfect option to stream to multiple locations at the same time, absolutely free, right in OBS. It's awesome. Animated lower thirds can be a pain in the butt to create and use, but this tool lets you set them up in OBS and it runs them for you so you don't even have to think about it. The lower thirds program is absolutely incredible. It allows you to create absolutely amazing animated lower thirds that you can customize any way you want with your own logos, your own backgrounds, your own fonts. You can trigger these using hotkeys or you can set them up on a timer so they just come up whenever you want them to. You can have them rotate out to different ones throughout your stream on a timer. You can trigger different ones with hotkeys. These are so infinitely customizable that it's just unbelievable that this tool is absolutely totally free. You can add your own fonts from Google Fonts or any other font service as well. There is almost nothing in the lower third department that you cannot do with the lower thirds plugin. It is absolutely incredible. I will admit it is a little bit of a handful to get to know and understand how it works, but once you do, you are going to be able to create some of the most incredible lower thirds. You're just going to set it and forget it and they're going to work in whatever intervals you set them for and <laughs> you're gonna be able to just not worry about it on your stream and have all kinds of fun and the lower thirds are just gonna come up and go away and do whatever they do. It's really, really an awesome tool. Plugin number five is one I use all the time. In fact, it's probably the one I use most because there's just so much that you can do with it. The StreamFX plugin is a plugin that I use in every live stream. It has a mirror source tool in it that allows me to create all kinds of different effects on the exact same camera because I can mirror that camera over and over and over again and use it in a lot of different ways in every scene. Without StreamFX, if you add effects on any one single camera, those effects will carry over every time you use that camera but with stream effects and mirrored source you can change that camera over and over again repeatedly to have all kinds of different effects in this particular video that I have on screen here I show you how to create all kinds of different effects using camera masks and you can mirror any source it doesn't have to be a camera it can be any background video or any other source just a color source it's really an awesome tool on top of that you can do so many other things with stream FX. In this sequence, I'm showing you how we use a tool in stream FX to create dynamic masks, and it has all kinds of really epic filters. Stream FX is probably one of the most versatile plugins out there, and I use it for every single stream. You should definitely check it out. I do have a bonus one here that you should definitely check out. I use it on every stream because it gives you so many different chat options, and it's so easy to use. Now this one's not a plugin, it's more of an app. Twidget is an amazing tool. It allows you to do a couple of different things. The first thing you can do is dock your chat. So if you are using a multi-stream tool anywhere, you can actually pick up the chat from any place that you're streaming to if it is YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch it will aggregate all of those chats into one box that you can dock right in OBS, which is absolutely awesome. The second thing that you can do with it is actually put a chat overlay on your screen so that all of the chats from all the different locations that you're streaming to will be on your screen so everyone can see the entire chat, even if they're just on Facebook. The third thing that it allows you to do is add any chat that you select in the Twidget app to be shown on your screen. So you can select any specific comment or chat piece by any person that chats on any of the platforms. And when you do that, it will appear right on screen in the lower thirds or wherever else you decide to place it. Twidget is an absolutely amazing free app that lets you do so many cool things with the chat. I highly recommend that you check it out. I have videos that dig a lot deeper 
deeper into each of these plugins linked in the description below. So if you want to know more, you should definitely click the link and check it out in the description. And if you want to see another great app that lets you use face filters just like this on your live stream, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to today's sponsor, Envato Placeit. Their links and all the other sponsor links are down below in the description so you can check them out. Supporting the sponsors helps me keep the lights on here so I can continue to make content that helps you. And I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.